my father truly intends to separate us, he should have done a much better job hiding the master keys. Ugh, how can he be so... <sighs> Not right now. Not right now. Ah! What on earth is something so heavy doing in the middle of the floor? Oh, wait. Is that their travel case? So father already told them. Told them before he told me. <laughs> I suppose he thought that telling me the night before he sent them off would mean I wouldn't be able to do anything. He thinks I'm such a fool. <laughs> His mistake. Hey! Hey, sweetie! Can you wake up? It's important. Sweetie! Sweetie? Sweetie! I don't remember you being such a heavy sleeper. Sweetie! Sweetie! I can't shout any louder or I'll risk waking up the other staff. I just saw your eye twitch. Are you messing with me? <laughs> very funny, but this is very urgent. Open your eyes, please. Ah, oh, it's such a relief to see your face. After today, I, uh, so, sorry. I didn't expect to start crying this easily. All the adrenaline that's keeping me together just disappeared once I hugged you. Sorry, sorry. I'll just have to cry later. Right now, we need to focus on getting out of the mess my father has put us in. The fact that he is sending you off to work for a distant relative of ours, for starters. Taking advantage of her need for day-round care. You'll be so busy, you may not have a chance to think of me, let alone pen me a letter, or get the chance for a vacation to visit me. How did he suddenly become this selfish and callous? Or had I just been blind this whole time? You're the only one who would still defend him in a situation like this. His reasoning was so stupid too! Saying that I was getting too attached to you? Telling me this is for my own good? This is so ridiculous! Mother was far more loving towards father than I have been to you! Ugh, that's only because mother and father were married so she could get away with acting more publicly affectionate than I can towards you. Please don't think I love you less. I pointed out his hypocrisy to him when he was telling me it was bad that I gave you a modified version of a family's emblem as a present. Yet he just shook his head and said I was too young to properly understand. What does that even mean? If he had something to explain to me, he should have just explained it. Instead of... Instead of... <sighs> He's engaged me to someone else. One of the sons from the Southern Duke. I wasn't paying attention when he was trying to tell me what one. It felt like a rug had been pulled from beneath my feet. He was saying that I wasn't fit to inherit the state. So instead of waiting for me to officially inherit the title and deeds, he's marrying me off to someone I've never met so they can have the status. What father hates their daughter so much to sacrifice the family lineage and sell his daughter to someone of likely poor character if his treatment of the whole situation is anything to go off of? Did he even consider what would happen if the Duke's son wanted to divorce me? I'd have nowhere to go. I'd be kicked from my own home, of my mother's home. It was her estate, yet he thinks he has a right to take it from me? <laughs> At that rate, it's just better to let me marry a servant so they can't take what's rightfully mine. That blind, goddess, goddamn son of a- <sighs> I'm shouting too loud. Sorry. The only good part about this is that he has yet to officially announce either your transfer or my engagement. Though? He has told me his plans to do so after your departure. So, 
that gives us tonight to figure out how we're going to stop this from happening. You didn't think I'd let him get away with this, did you? No. I love my father, but with this, he's gone too far. Did you know he told me he only has tolerated our relationship so far because I've struggled to make friends with the other noble ladies? Tolerated. Tolerated. If my mother were still alive, she would be livid to hear him use such language. She would have happily let us be together, status be damned. It was because of her I even had the courage to pursue true love in the first place. She must be turning in her grave. So, I have to think of a way to stop this, so we can be together and her soul can rest peacefully. There's only one issue. Our time limit is the entirety of tonight. There's only so much we can accomplish in less than 12 hours. The first thing I thought of was to submit an engagement review with the courts in order to stop the marriage from going forward, but the city has a two-day journey from here, and that doesn't solve your transfer issue. I thought of running away as well, except it wouldn't do us any good. We'd only be together for so long. My father would hunt us down, as cruel as he is being now. I know he's only doing all this in a misguided attempt to help me, despite the fact that I told him I don't want this. That could lead to major consequences for you. And even if we did manage to evade him, I wouldn't be able to give you the quality of life you deserve. We need a solution that keeps me in line for my family's fortune and you out of harm's way. There is one plan. One plan I'm certain that would work. I just need your approval for it. Since you didn't like the last time I did something like this. I don't want to do this without your consent. Mm -hmm. I want to kill my father. If I manage to do it before the official announcement comes out, any attempts to transfer the title and deeds of our family to the Southern Duke family would be nipped in the bud instantly. I'd inherit everything as soon as he's pronounced dead, and then I'd take you as an official spouse before the Southern Duke could claim I was engaged to his son. Once I'm the head of the family, I would also be able to stop your transfer and send another servant instead. <laughs> it's the perfect solution, if you approve. I know you don't like doing this kind of thing. Oh, that's simple. I'd poison him. Mother left me all her books of how to dispose unsavory characters. It's how I learned my techniques from the last time. I'm sure she wouldn't have wanted them to be used on father, but the silver lining is that they would be reunited. I'm sure that would even things out for her. And it would be easy to do as well. Whenever my father and I fight, I always bring him a cup of his favorite tea as an apology the next morning. Then, once he drank it, I would call for a maid and then claim they were the one who served my father tea. In fact, whatever person comes in could be the person who takes your place. I'll pay them off and then send them to my relative's estate so that they'll be too far away to report me, and still in employment so they wouldn't harbor resentment towards me for throwing them in jail. It's perfect! Will be perfect. No. Could be perfect. If you agree. I'll try to think of something else if you don't. You're okay with it? Really? Uh, truly? <laughs> I'll get started on it right away. I won't let him separate us, sweetie. I know this is probably weighing on your conscience already, but... This is for the best. I need you. We need each other. We're doing what's best for us. Isn't that what lovers do? Don't think about it too hard. Just think about our wonderful future once everything is settled. <laughs> I can't wait to spend the rest of my life by your side. <laughs>